Hey, ladies and gentlemen. So I did a video about you know mental health, but it got it didn't it got deleted. So here we are again. Okay, so tonight, so this topic is about mental health. Um, I wanted to talk about mental health, emotional health, and physical health, as well as uh, spiritual health and sexual health. So the topic is health is wealth. Health is wealth. You remember in the Bible days how if you have leprosy, you were labeled as unclean, right? In the 80s and 90s, you had HIV. It was a death sentence for a lot of things. Health is wealth. When you, take, when you have your physical health, you have a lot. You know, you're healthy, which, which, which makes you rich in a lot of ways. Health is wealth. If you don't have your health, your physical health, and you're physically ill, you are pretty much sick, you know, you don't really have much, you know, um, no one wants to touch you, you know, you're labeled, if you have, for example, there's cancer, there's heart disease, there's diabetes, you know, because of the intake that we, that we consume, right? For me, I like cookies, I like burgers, I like ice cream, I like donuts, I eat all those things too, right? But I'm a runner. Yeah, I eat, I eat these things, but at the same time, I am a runner, I run, you know, to make sure that I don't get diabetes, to make sure I don't get heart disease, to make sure I don't, you know, get cancer. You know, there's a balance. Some days I have salad, I ha I'll have a fruit, I'll have a pear, I'll have vegetables. Some days I'll eat cookies, I'll have ice cream, I'll have candy, Skittles, M&Ms, stuff like that. There's a balance of, uh, you know, of, you know, of the sugar and, you know, healthy eating, right? There's always a balance. I remember when I was on dope, you know, I was uh, in a meth addict. And I remember I, my physical health was in danger. My physical health was just in danger. You know, my physical health was in danger to the point where I was engaging in sexual activities that, that was risky. I was, you know, getting high and you know, the some days I didn't feel like getting out of bed because my body was so, the withdrawals, and it was so, I felt so weak after the withdrawals and uh, during the withdrawals, and I just did not want to get up, you know, because, you know, because the substance abuse, you know, that was in my system, you know. Your physical health is wealth, you know. You, you don't have your physical health. You know, some people don't have the physical health to the point where they can't even get up. That they that they if they get up for like, if they stay up for like five minutes. They're already tired. You know, you have to learn how to take care of your physical health and your sexual health. You know, and have the realistic. You know, celibacy. Not everyone in the world is gonna be celibate, right? And I was not at one point, but now I am, right? Um, wear a condom. If you're gonna be active. Wear a condom, you know, obviously there's STDs, there's HIV, you know. Luckily, it's such a gay community, there's Chubada now. You know, in the 80s and 90s, I didn't have that. Now, there's Chubada where you can pretty much, you know, um, lower your risk of getting HIV, 99%, I believe. You know, uh, it's a pill you take once a day, uh, stuff like that. But you have to learn how to take, your, take care of your physical health, which ties into your sexual health. You know, in the Bible days, again, leprosy was seen as unclean. You know, in the 80s and 90s, even now, HIV is seen as, oh, wow, you know, no one's going to touch you. You know, you are labeled as this. You know, so make sure you're taking care of your physical health. You know, um, I like to drink alcohol sometimes. You know, I don't drink it every day. I drink it here or there, you know, but I don't drink it every day, right? So I want to be able to still consume alcohol, but I gotta, I gotta watch my intake, if you know what I mean, right? And then, you know, like weed. Weed is healthy. It's from the ground, right? Um, but, you know, a lot of things are intake. Like junk food, right? It's an intake. You know, your physical health. You know, um, obesity. You know, you're intaking so much, so much, so much. If you want to eat all these things, yeah, make sure you're burning the calories at the same time. You know, make sure you're running. Make sure you're going out to the gym. Sometimes even 30 minutes a day, you know, if you can't do an hour or 45 minutes, even 30 minutes a day, you know, five days, five, six days a week is good enough, right? Um, make sure you're burning all that off too. So, um, you ha your physical health is like so important because it's, you know, it's 
it's what you have. You know, if you don't have your physical health, you don't have a whole lot, you know. Um, you're labeled as, you know, a bad apple. So um, that also ties into, physical health ties into sexual health, stuff like that. So let's talk about mental health, which ties into emotional health. A lot of people, um, for me, I'm bipolar, you know, um, I, was, I told you also um, I'm bipolar and I also struggle with meth addiction as well. I struggle with meth addiction. Um, this week it'll be 190 days sobriety, you know, and I struggle with that, right? I want to encourage you that you can win the battle of addiction and mental health. For me, you have to find ways to um, fight mental health. You have to find activities. There's, you know, different activities you can do. There's music therapy, you know, there's music therapy. There's um there's music therapy there's uh for me i like to write i like to you know poetry creative writing there's reading there's for me i'm a jogger i'm a runner there's cooking right there's snorkeling there's horseback riding you can do you can go out do, you know do artwork you can go to the museums you can go to the lake i like to go to the, spend time the lake i like to spend time in the river and i like to you know kind of watch the ducks watch the birds and feed the birds stuff like that you gotta get out there to find activities that you enjoy that would keep you from relapsing that would keep you uh from um falling off the deep the deep cliff mental health is something serious because a lot of people end up taking their lives right you have to learn how to fight for your addiction and fight for your mental health you know, you when you feel like you want to, you know, go out and smoke dope, you know, just pretty much find activities that you enjoy. For me, I sh I also struggle with, you know, sexual stuff, right? So if I feel the urge to go be with a, you know, a guy, a man, what do I do? I go and masturbate. I go and masturbate. When I have that sexual desire. I masturbate. When I have a, uh, when I feel depressed, when my bipolar manic is down, what did I do? I pretty much find activities I enjoy. I write in my journal. I read a book. I go running. I listen to music. I go to the lake. I go to the river. You know, there's so many things you can do to get your mind cleared from your mental health, whatever it is, bipolar, depression, schizophrenia, you know, whatever it is, you know. Also, Therapy helped me. I've gotten into therapy last year, and um, therapy helped me a lot. I got to talk, and there's group therapy, then there was one-on-one -on -one therapy. I got to talk about different issues with people, you know, about things, about my week, and tell them, they ask, she would ask, how's your week going? How, what happened this week, you know? That felt good to talk about things. Don't be afraid to talk, open up. I told you, when I feel urge to go be with a man, or something what do I do I go to the bathroom and masturbate because I don't want to sleep around I want to take care of my mental I want to take care of my physical health my mental health too and my sexual health you know what I mean um as well so you have to find ways to fight your mental health fight your addiction because not every um day is gonna be easy some days are harder than others. Some days are good days, some days are bad, trust me. Some days I don't know if I get out of bed, but I, but I do anyways, and I go in running, I force myself to get out of bed, even though I don't want to, because the bipolar manic depression is down, and some days it's up, I'm like, oh, yeah, I feel really good, right? Um, there's days where you can feel, it's going to be sunny days and rainy days. It's important that you don't suffer in silence, that you don't suffer alone. You're going to need someone to carry you through the storm and the rain. An AA buddy, a gym buddy, a cooking buddy, your mom, dad, brother, sister, a best friend, a co-worker, a spouse, whoever it is, you're going to need someone to uh, be a drinking buddy, you know, right? Or, you know, a gym buddy, whatever, whoever, whoever it is, a spouse, a family member, a friend, or whatever, you're going to need someone to get you through the storm. The rain, because not every day is going to be a sunny day. Because some days you're going to feel like, oh, you know, I'm, you know, you're going to feel so stressed out. You're going to feel a certain way. So it's going to be one of those things where you're going to need someone to get you through. For me, some people have their higher power. Some people have their lover. Some people have their um, best friend. Some people have their mom, their dad, their um, drinking buddy, their 
whoever, right? Um, their sister, their brother, their mom, or dad, grandmother, you know? You need someone to get you through the downtime when it rains, when it's stormy. You know, you're gonna need someone to get you through. Um, one thing that I think a lot of people, um, they are afraid to open up. They're afraid to ask for help. They are afraid to pretty much open up. You know, you have to be real. You have to be raw. You have to be honest about, you know, hey, I'm going through this. You know, there's a lot of resources out there to help you too. Trust me, I know. Um, addiction and mental health is a fight. I told Malachi this. Life is a battle. Life is a fight. You get knocked down, you get back up. It's a boxing match. You get back down, you get knocked, you get, get, you get back up. You get knocked down. It's a boxing match. Boom. You get knocked down, you get back up. You know? Um, it's like a boxing match. It's like a wrestling match. You get back up, you get knocked down. You know, this, you know I remember in Spokane, a lady asked, uh, she's like, do you know how many times you've been in the hospital this past year? It's a lot of times, right? Because I wasn't willing to stay down. I was willing to fight for my addiction. I was willing to fight for my my sobriety. I was willing to fight for my mental health. I was willing to put in the work. You know, work, work ethic is important. You want to make money, you have to go to work. You want to lose weight, you're gonna to have to put in that um, the time to you know in the work and exercise in the gym. You want you want to fight your addiction. You're gonna to have to go to therapy. You're gonna, you're gonna to have to go to AA. You're gonna to have to go to church. You're gonna to have to you know find activities that you enjoy. You want to take your mental health. You know you're gonna to have to make sure that you're finding activities. You know, to get you in the out of the um, depressive mindset, you know, or whatever, you know, mental health, mental disorder you have. For me, I have bipolar, right? Um, life is a battle. Life is a fight. You know, and it's going to be up to you to pretty much, you know, fight for your sanity, fight for your sobriety, fight for your celibacy. For me, I'm fighting for my celibacy. I'm fighting for my sobriety. I'm fighting for my sanity as well, right? Um, so life is a battle, life is a fight. Uh, make sure you take care of your physical health, your sexual health, you know, realistically, not everyone's gonna be celibate. Wear a condom, there's HIV, there's STDs out there. Um, take care of your mental health, you know, go to therapy, find activities that you enjoy, horseback riding, whether it's, it's um, you know, it could be swimming, you know, bike cycling, mountain climbing, um, even, a, you know, a couple beers, you know, with a friend, you know, a cup of wine, you know, cooking, you know, or whatever it is, um, exercising, you know, going to, uh, you know, theater, whatever it is, find activities that you enjoy that would keep you from um, depression or bipolar. And don't stay in that room a lot. Miguel told me this at H. Washington University, like, don't stay in that room because the more you stay in that room and by yourself, the more the depression is going to keep, keep at the more that you're in your thoughts. You know, so make sure you're fighting each and every day for your mental health and your, you know, sobriety. And for me, I'm going on 190 days sober. You know, when I was in jail, I was able to work out, lost 30 pounds. I pretty much um, wrote over three, 400 um, writing pieces of poetry and creative writing. I read over 17 books. You know, you have to, um, you have to be willing to fight for your addiction, fight for your sobriety. Fight for your mental health, you know, and your spiritual health is important as well. You know, your relationship with God. If you're engaged in sexual activity, then your spiritual health is going to decline because God says, uh, "No, not uh, no one should see Him." You know, without holiness, no no one can see God. You know, so sexual sin, um, and then sex and dope is not gonna it's gonna hurt your spiritual health. You know, go to church, read Bible. You know. Go to talk to God. Go to the lake. Go to the river and talk to God. You know, talk to Him. Talk to Jesus. You know, uh, go to the lake and talk to the Lord. Talk to God. You know, one-on-one -on -one time. Spend time with God. Not only do you have to spend time with yourself, but spend time with God as well. Spend time with Jesus too. They want to hear from you. Jesus wants to hear from you. God wants to hear from you. Spend time with them. You know, um, alone time is very important too, because like, that's when you have a peace of mind. To think about things, you know, to you get to know yourself a lot better, you know, as well, and then just to be able to, no one's gonna judge you, why? Because like you're by yourself, you know, and God's not gonna judge you. Jesus is not gonna judge you either, you know. Just 
go to the lake, go to the river, and talk to them. You know? Uh, so take care of your physical health, take care of your mental health, your spiritual health, your emotional health, which ties into your, to your mental health. And if there's people that that's causing you harm, that's you know, that's affecting your that's causing you stress, anxiety, delete them out of your life. You gotta put yourself first, you know, in this in your in, in your battle of addiction, your battle of mental health, you know. If someone's a supplier, if they're gonna, you know, supply you dope or they're gonna want you to get you high, delete them out of your life. You have to move forward, you have to love yourself too. Uh, part of this process, mental health process, and physical health is loving yourself as well. You know, and that's it. So take care of your mental health, your physical health, and also uh, your spiritual health, your emotional health, your sexual health. Put you first. You're important, right? Uh, love yourself to wear a condom. Love yourself to go get help. Love yourself to go to therapy. Love yourself to work out. You know, love your body. You know, love who you are. You know, take care of yourself. Because health, ladies and gentlemen, is wealth. Health is wealth.